There are a variety of ways to resize table columns in FrameMaker. Um, as with other products, you can do it manually by simply choosing the little handles, as I'm doing here, and resizing it. I'm going to do an undo. Um, you also can take uh, one column and make it change its width but maintain the full table width by simply holding down the shift key. And As I do this, you'll notice that column got smaller, but the table maintained its entire width. Once again, we'll do an undo. What we want to do today is to actually explore the uh, choices that are available for you in the resize column command, and we're going to use most of these. So the first thing I'd like to do is to go ahead and make a, a change to column 3. Um, you don't have to select the entire column. You can select any portion of it. And under Table, Format, Resize Columns, as we see. Uh, first of all, it will actually tell you what the current width is. It's telling me that it's 1.271 inches. You can use other measuring systems if you wish. I'd like to change this to 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, and now that I've done this, this is, uh, I've got column 1, column 2, column 3. I may decide that I'd like to have column 4 be the same width as column 3. <clears throat> and you can do that also. So I'm once again, I'm going to go ahead and um, go into the resize command, and I'm going to say that I'd like to take the column that I currently have selected and make it the same as column 3. And as we do that, you'll see that those two now match exactly. Um, the other thing that you can also do that's interesting is under Edit, you can do Edit, Copy Special, you can actually copy a table column width if you don't want to look up what it is, and then you could go ahead and apply that to columns and other tables. Um, the final thing that we'd like to take a look at, though, that's quite interesting, is that you have the ability to um, do proportional spacing. So perhaps I'd like to take this entire table, and I'd like <coughs> I'd like it to become the width of the uh, text column holding, which is seven inches. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire table, and this time I'm. I'm going to go ahead and take the table format, go to the width, and I'd like to say that I'd like it to go out and become equal widths that are 7 inches wide. As I do that, that just uh, divides the table up into four equal columns. Let's do a control Z. Um, what would probably be a more likely scenario here is that we would actually like to make them proportionally resize themselves out to the full width of the page. So we'll do that last. Let's go ahead and do um, table format resize and this time we're going to say that we want you to scale the widths in other words just take each column and proportionally resize it out to that uh, width as we did. Um, one last command, um, you'll notice down here the very last choice says that you can actually resize it to the maximum width of the selected cells contents. So in this case I'd like to select this entire cell, this entire column, and I'd like to go ahead and format the width uh, to whatever is the widest entry in that column. Click. And you'll see that it's actually made it as wide as to maximum width of cell contents because that clearly is the longest line. This is just a brief summary of some of the tools that you have available to you in resizing table columns to swiftly achieve the results that you want with FrameMaker 11.